Hello my friends and welcome back to the Truth Hub. In this video I will be discussing Jason Blaha's claims that he is 100% medically disabled. Thank you for watching and if you like the video please like it and subscribe as it helps the channel tremendously. Thank you again. Some of the symptoms of Meniere's disease include the following. Recurring episodes of vertigo, hearing loss, ringing in the ears also known as tinnitus, feeling of fullness in the ears. Now that we've covered that, let's hear what Jason Blaha has to say about having Meniere's disease in his own words. When it went bilateral, I lost my ability to work, I lost my ability to drive a car, I lost my ability to make gainful income, uh, my social life completely disappeared, my self-esteem disappeared, my doctors told me to quit working out, but no one would know there's anything particularly medically wrong. They wouldn't know that to look at me because they see me, you know, push pressing barely heavy weights, cleaning weight up off the floor, front squatting, repping out 500 plus pounds on a deadlift without a belt. I'm faking it. I don't have a sense of balance. I medically do not have any sense of balance. I don't have any medical sense of orientation. Blaha states that he suffers from random attacks of vertigo and nausea. The US government states that if you suffer from random attacks of vertigo while suffering from Meniere's disease, you cannot legally drive a car. As you can see in the video that I've put up on the screen, Jason Blaha is clearly driving a car one-handed, which puts everybody at risk, himself, the person next to him, and any members of the public on the road or the path. In the next two clips, I'll be showing practitioners of Taekwondo and Karate, demonstrating techniques required to get you to black belt level, which Jason Blaha claims he has in both of these martial arts. And I did well with that. I functioned quite effectively with that issue. I earned black belts in two different styles of martial arts with it. I did bodybuilding, I did powerlifting. I was able to function extremely well, despite having this issue. Jason also states that he needed a cane to walk as he couldn't do it unassisted. His girlfriend disputes this and says, I bought it at the medical supply store, no prescription. He asked specifically for that kind of cane. He wanted a pimp cane. She also says that there was nothing wrong with Jason and that he was just extremely lazy and that doctors also couldn't find anything wrong with him and he just wanted to sit around the house all day playing World of Warcraft while she went out to work. Still have, yes, I still get vertigo drop attacks. I sometimes do fall down when I'm walking. I have about 50% hearing loss and I have undulating hearing so I tend to miss about every fourth word people say. So I've had to become very proficient in lip reading. And I have fluctuating undulating hearing so I miss about every third word. I have continual tinnitus so I have a ringing in my ears and it's in both ears that never goes away and I have no sense of balance medically. So I'm not supposed to be able to walk in a straight line but as long as I can see I can do so but if I close my eyes and I try to stand up I'll eventually fall down because I actually have no sense of balance. It seems extremely unlikely to me that a person with no sense of medical balance and no sense of medical orientation would be able to perform box jumps like Jason is doing in this video. As he himself states, he has no sense of balance. Jason also states that he has 50% hearing loss and misses every fourth word a person says. I'm going to show you an interview he did a couple of years back with a person on Skype where that person was extremely delayed, so there's no way he could have lip-read and heard every single word that person said, yet he responds just as normal, as if he had no hearing problems whatsoever. Uh, the, the, the human body is a pretty remarkable system, so you can throw a lot of stuff into it and it'll still produce some high-quality product, I think. Yeah, and, and even then, the, the, the beer thing is so funny, guys, I'll say that, because I'll have guys, well, I can't eat, eat enough on a bulk. I'm like, well, you know, throw a beer in with your face. You're struggling. <laughs> the problem with Jason's claims is we never actually see any evidence of him being medically unwell or unfit. In fact, we see quite the opposite with him lifting heavy weights, moving around all the time, doing box jumps going to the gun range for firearms practice. In addition to this, his story seems to change a lot depending on how long it's been since he last told the story. I'll now show a few examples of the story changing for you guys. And I ended up spending something like 10 months in bed because of this. I spent an entire year in bed and during it, th I had a three year period there to where I was not allowed to train. I had to take four years away from training, somewhere between three and a half and four years. And it's kind of funny when I mention it to people, people say, well, there's th techniques you can use to get more balance. And I try to explain to them that that's like telling a blind person 
that you know techniques to improve their vision. I actually medically have no sense of balance or motion at all. You know when I was able to get rid of the cane? Uh, when I started hanging chains onto a barbell and swinging them and then squatting the barbell with swinging chains. I did that for six weeks and I was able to get rid of my cane because that built up the stabilizers in my body. Also, diet plays a large part in control of Meniere's disease. If you go to a Meniere's website, it will tell you to not eat particularly salty food and not drink high caffeine drinks. As we can see, Jason Blahar eats a lot of salty food and drinks a lot of coffee. This is not advisable and would probably make his condition much worse. I'm not supposed to be able to function as well as I do according to all of my MRIs and laser balance tests and everything my doctors have done, I function about 10 times better than every single test says that I should be able to. And it's not that my medical condition has improved, it's that I have just fought back hard enough against it to overcome it and just deal with it despite having the problems. And again, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I'd like to say a few things in conclusion. I don't think Jason Blaha has this illness. We've never seen any evidence on camera or off camera that he has it, other than what he stated. He contradicts his own story many, many times. His own ex-girlfriend contradicts his story. Meniere's disease is a well-known fake disease that people use when they do not want to work, and we all know that he doesn't want to work. Thank you very much. Let's hear Jason in his own words if he has the illness. I'm faking it a lot.